What's up everybody, Baird here with Spec of Tech. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to run ARC or Anthem Room Correction on a Paradigm subwoofer. It shouldn't matter which Paradigm subwoofer you have as long as it has ARC uh, built in, then you should be able to use this video on how to do it. The only difference that you might see is depending on which subwoofer you have, you might have a slightly different ARC kit that comes with your subwoofer. So I do have two different examples here. One of these ARC kits came with the Paradigm XR13 subwoofer and one of these ARC kits came with the Paradigm X15. But essentially the process is the same. You just might get a little bit nicer micro phone with the XR13 versus the X15 and with the XR13 you get a pretty decent tripod as well but other than that it's pretty much the same thing. All right before we jump over to my computer and I show you how to do this please consider subscribing tick the bell icon if you do and please take just one short second hit that like button I always do appreciate it and please consider supporting the channel I've dropped my patreon link down in the description below you can also hit the uh, join button or the thanks button right below this video all right let's jump over to the computer so the first thing that you want to do once you've got to your pc is just punch in this address that you see up here or you can even just google um, download Anthem Room Correction, but you can just pause it and type that in if you want to. And then you're going to see that they have different uh, operating systems or they have the program for different operating systems. You can even use it for your iOS or Android device. But most people are going to have a 64-bit window, so that's what I'm downloading here. So you just click on it and download it. And obviously you want to uh, put it in a folder where you know where to find it afterwards. And then once you've clicked the folder that you want to download it, just click Save and then it'll download into that folder. And once it's finished downloading, then obviously you wanna go find that folder. And once you found the folder, you wanna open up what you just downloaded and that will install uh, Arc or Anthem Room Correction. Just double click it. And then of course you want to run it. Now there aren't gonna be a whole lot of options for you uh, for the download, but you wanna accept that and then hit next and then just hit yes, and then next again. And then you can create a desktop shortcut, which I usually do, so there you can just highlight that or click that box and it'll create a desktop shortcut. And then it'll install the program, and then once it's done installing, it's gonna ask you if you want to run Arc, but I'm just gonna show you what the icon looks like once this finishes up. All right, so there you can either choose to run Arc, I'm gonna choose not to just to show you what the icon looks like. So over here you see this little red circle with, or sorry, white circle with some red lines and just double click that and that's your Arc Genesis. You can just close that. It just gives you some information on the latest uh, firmware. All right, so now that you have Arc installed on your computer and you have Arc Genesis open, you're gonna wanna connect the subwoofer to your computer as well as the calibration microphone to your computer. So what you want is on both uh, the subwoofers that I have had, which is the X15 and the XR13, there is a micro USB port on the back of the subwoofer. Now in your ARC kit you should have um, a USB cable that's quite lengthy that has a micro USB end on it and that's what you want to plug into the subwoofer. Now once you have that plugged into the subwoofer you want to get your microphone set up. So I do have uh, a microphone boom like you see here and I just want to insert that microphone on the end. So to set up the microphone again it's going to depend on which microphone you get. With the XR13 you do get the more advanced calibration microphone which has a mic on the front of that microphone. So you want to make sure that that is facing the front of the room when you do this calibration. If you have something like the X15 I don't believe it has that uh, front uh, mic port on it. Either way, you want to have the microphone facing the ceiling. Now, of course, Arc is going to show you where to set the microphone up, but I always set it up with uh, position number one, which is your main listening position at about ear level. That's the first place that it's going to ask you to measure. So that's where I always set up my microphone for the first time. And once you have your microphone set up, then again, depending on which microphone you have, in this case, I have one with a USB-C uh, end on it. So I plug that into the bottom of the microphone and now I have my subwoofer plugged in. I have my mic plugged in. So I take the two USB type A ends and I plug that into my uh, laptop. So you are going to need two USB type A ends on your laptop. If you don't have that, you may need to get an adapter if you only have one of those and one USB-C or whatever you might need there. Uh, but you're going to want to take a look at your laptop and see what you need. You may have to buy some adapters here. And one thing I want to point out here is that you want to make sure that the subwoofer is in the location that you want it to be uh, after the calibration as well. So this is going to be the location that you want it set up. This is going to be your preferred location. Uh, don't kind of put it in the middle room, run calibration, and then move it. This calibration is going to be specific to a location. So leave it in the location that you are going to have it in permanently. Now that you have them both plugged in, you're going to want to launch ARC. Once you've launched ARC, it will give you an option of which subwoofer to connect. 
two uh, if you have more than one but in this case it's the XR 13 so I just click on that and then I can click continue so now you're gonna want to select how many uh, positions you want to measure so my understanding of anthem room correction is the the less that you measure the more focused the measurement will be for the main listening position the more positions that you measure the more it'll try to smooth the response over several seat positions at least that's my understanding you can correct me if i'm wrong down in the comments below but that's how i understand it to be so in my case i always select five and then of course you want to select your microphone in my case it is the silver one here so select that and then it shows you which position to start with which is number one again right in the center of the main listening position so and then you can just hit start and then from here it's just going to show you uh, every position so I'm just going to fast forward through this here to help speed up the video because it is going to take five measurements so here's measurement number one and then you want to move your microphone to position two position three position four position five and then hit uh, start each time you move the microphone so let's just fast forward through this all right so once it's finished with measurement number five you can just click uh, the button down there or allow the timer to run out and then it'll automatically take you to the next screen uh, and then it kind of does its correction curves and it doesn't take very long to uh, process that and then it does give you some options here if you want to review the measurements and kind of see the response for for each one or you can go to adjust settings or if you don't want to bother with that you can just click upload now uh, if you do want to see uh, there are quite a few options for adjusting things and uh, like like arc is pretty advanced when it comes to uh, making your own adjustments but here's kind of uh, what you can do with uh, arc and again if you're brand new to anthem room correction i wouldn't necessarily recommend that you start playing with these things if you don't know what they're doing but uh, if you want to you can increase your room gain uh, you can increase the room gain uh, center frequency which kind of changes where uh, things are going to start increasing decreasing that sort of thing you can increase your date your deep uh, bass boost, your deep bass boost center frequency. Again, same thing. It's going to start applying that uh, filter at whatever frequency you have. It's going to change where that applies. And then you can adjust your tilt level. You can adjust your tilt start frequency. And then you can go, if you do have more than one subwoofer, you can go to the subwoofers themselves and you can change the high frequency extension. You can change the low frequency extension, uh, the low frequency extension slope. Uh, in this case, it's flat. And then you can change uh, the minimum correction frequency, which I always put to the lowest, assuming that my subwoofer is capable of going down to 15 hertz. If yours is not, then of course you may want to change that, but Arc will have already decided that when it ran its room correction, and it has decided that my subwoofer is capable of those uh, frequencies. So once you kind of check that out, you can change what you want to change. Um, but then after you've made those changes, you can you can just click on review summary and upload and then you want to upload that to your device once you've clicked upload to your device it doesn't take very long at all and it'll upload as you can see it was completed before it even started really and that is it now that you've had that uh, room correction done you've uploaded it to your device unless you have more subwoofers to do you can simply uh, close down arc if you want you can save the file and you just you can save that wherever you want on your computer and then for future date if you want to if you learn more about arc and you want to start making some adjustments to your subwoofers then you can do that but once you've saved it and uploaded it you can simply close down arc now some of you may be wondering once you've applied uh, an, an arc file to your subwoofer what if you want to remove that um, to just have your subwoofer go back to the base the baseline or let's say you're going to be selling the subwoofer and you don't want that arc file on there uh, once you uh, open arc genesis uh, at the top it says launch arc but below that you can see remove arc settings from a device so you just simply left click that and then you would choose the subwoofer that you want to remove arc from and then you would just click uh, continue in the bottom right hand corner and then continue again and it doesn't take very long at all and then it has removed that entire filter from your device very quickly very easily and there you have it guys now you've learned how to run arc on the subwoofer upload it to the subwoofer itself and how to remove a file if you want to if you guys did find this video helpful make sure you subscribe if you haven't tick the bell icon if you do subscribe and please take just one short second to hit that like button i always do appreciate it remember to enjoy your systems i'll see you on the next one cheers mm -hmm.